Hello, this is Dr. Scott McLean, and this is a YouTube video about Torque Wrench 101, replacing dental implant crowns. Now, one of the things that you really need to know in uh, prosthetic implant dentistry is how to use the torque wrench. The torque wrench comes as part of the prosthetic kit, as you can see here. When you remove the cover, you'll see that inside is the torque wrench itself, and it comes apart. And there's a unigrip driver part that you can take and actually insert the unigrip drivers into. And this is what you're going to use to tighten down crowns and also uh, transfer copings and such. So, for instance, you might come, we'll move this out of the way for a second. You want to use the shortest one possible, but your patient may come back from your surgeon looking like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that healing abutment off. And so, when you put the torque, the unigrip driver, sorry, down, you're going to take that little unit out of there. And when you take that out, then you're able to remove it. Oh, there it comes. So, you should give the patient a little shake like that and you take it out. So, then what's going to happen is you're going to put on, this is a closed tray impression coping, you may use an open tray impression coping, but you're going to kind of spin this on first, and as you do, you take your unigrip driver, and you're going to place it in, and tighten it down. So, as you tighten this down, sorry, then you're going to take an x-ray, this is just finger tightened down, you take an x-ray and then that's going to be to take your impression, so you take an impression tray to go over top of this, then you remove this, send the patient back out with their healing abutment, so I'll just take this out with the same unigrip driver, notice I'm not using the torque wrench yet, the torque wrench is used only during the, usually during the uh, insertion of the crown, so I'd place this back in and the patient would then you just finger tighten it. Sometimes I'll even tighten these down to about 15 newtons. So you can take this, insert it back on top of the wrench, and tighten this down to about 15 newtons. So you can tighten this in here. So I'll put it about 15. Now that's up to you. So then what's going to happen is the patient's going to have their crown made at the lab. And you can see as it comes back, I've already taken the screws and put them through these crowns into the um, the, the implants underneath and if you're pretending this is the patient you're able then to take these um, implant screws insert the the driver into them and when you're in the mouth you're going to make sure that the the Nobel BioCare symbol is showing towards the occlusal so when I put this in then I know that it's going to be functioning right so what I want to do in the mouth is to hold one finger on top have the other finger down here making sure that this arrow is pointed in the same direction that the torque arm is. So as I go back and forth, you can see it's clicking in and engaging, and we're now at 15 newtons. So as I click back, I can tighten this down actually all the way to 35 newtons. So you can see as I do that, I'm not touching the arm. So we don't want to touch this part here. We want to only touch this teardrop shape on the end, and that's what's going to tighten the crown down. So we do that again on the other crown, and uh, usually if there's two, I'm doing a little bit on one, a little bit on the other, going back and forth. So I'm kind of showing you what one would be like. But really, they should be seated down properly on top and then tightened in. If I wanted to remove it, I would take this little arrow, turn it. So I can pull it out and then turn it. And as I turn it, I can put it back inside and then just kind of rotate backwards. And then that rotates and takes it out. Once I get them loose, then I'm able to take the driver back out, loosen this up, and you want to be taking x-rays of course before you tighten things down too far and, and we're going to discuss that in the course but this is just to show you kind of what the torque wrench can do. So as we take this apart you can see that uh, the screws will come back out. Okay, so, and that's then what you do with the torque wrench. So to put it back together and put it away, you'd sterilize it and you can see that it has different parts that would take this part apart. You can actually use the longer torque wrench, so you can get these in different lengths, these, uh, sorry, unigrip drivers, and these unigrip drivers then will be able to fit around teeth. But you always want to make sure a couple things. You want to make sure that the Nobel BioCare is at the back of this unit, so 
if it's using on the top or using the bottom is the same. You also want to make sure that this little piece that goes in and out is facing the way the arm goes when you're tightening something. You never want to touch this part. You want to have your finger on the end and then move this to your. So if I'm tightening something down, I want to be holding the finger on the end like this and those are the two fingers that touch, nothing else. So we'll go on to the next part of the course. Now once the screws are tightened down to 35 newton centimeters, it's important to place some cotton and then some composite resin over the access hole to protect the screws. And this will also enable us to go back in this area if we ever had to. Dr. Scott McLean, and this is a YouTube implant dentistry video presentation.